Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be creating a tutorial on how to create some 3D brass knuckles and how to apply a clover, an Irish clover leaf onto the graphics. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and open up Design Spark Mechanical. Go ahead to go to File New, New Design. Go ahead and change it to plan view, minimize. Go ahead and drag in the graphic to copy or to use as a reference. Go ahead and maximize. We want this measurement here to be 124. So we're in inches right now, so we got to switch over to metric. So we'll go to file, design, spark options, units. Go to it from Imperial up here, from type down to metric, hit OK. All right, so this, we're going to draw a reference line there. I'm going to make this 124. Click off, go to scale the graphic up to that. That's pretty close right there. So I'll go ahead and click off of that, get that line, delete it. Okay, we're going to come in here with our circle tool. We're going to create these circles to 27. Twenty-seven. It's a select tool. Now we're going to make these outer ones a little bit bigger. So we'll go ahead and click on the circle tool again. We'll make these thirty-six. 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 And thirty-six. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put a center line in here so we can use as a mirror line. So go, we'll go ahead and come from there right down to the center. Click select, click on the line, right mouse click, set as mirror. Go ahead and get our line tool. We're going to draw a line out from there. Go ahead and click the select button. Now we're going to go, um, let's see here, we're going to go ahead and get the re rectangle tool. Click and drag out. Okay, we're going to move that, so go ahead and click on move. Click on that, grab the red handle and move up. And we're going to go Control-C, Control-V. We're going to make a copy of that. Drag up with the red. Actually, undo. We're going to just go ahead and... Let's see here. Okay. Go ahead and make another rectangle. From there. Out to there, drag up, click on the move tool, grab the red arrow, scoot that up, click off of it, click the select tool, we'll go ahead and get the trim away. I'm gonna trim away this stuff right there. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our circle in there. So we'll go ahead and do the three-point arc. We'll go from there to there. Let's go ahead and make that even. That's fine. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get the trim away tool again. Trim away here. I'm going to fix these right here. Not really crazy about those, so we'll go Control Plus. We're gonna pan up. I'm 
We're gonna put a line in right here. Click off select. We're gonna grab our trim tool. We're gonna trim that out of there. Trim that out of there, and then we're gonna go back to our th arc, three point arc. We're gonna click there, gonna click there, and then go ahead and go back to select. Gonna use our trim away tool. Get rid of these, don't need those. Gonna get rid of those. Get rid of that, we don't need that either. Okay, get rid of that. This one, this one, control minus. Okay, there's our basic shape. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. Might be some overlapping lines right there. Go ahead and delete. Then we'll go ahead and pan over. Get this one on the bottom. Go to uh, trim away. Bottom line, control minus. Okay, we'll go ahead and get the click on the graphic, select, select the graphic, hit delete. Gonna go ahead and select all of that. Go to pull. We're gonna spin. We're gonna pull this out. Let's get rid of that line there. Delete, pull. Let's pull this out too. I guess in about 20 millimeters. All right, now go to view, top. We're gonna add the detail later, but we'll go ahead and delete these. We don't need them. Delete. We're gonna go ahead and minimize. We're gonna open up CorelDRAW. We're going to go to File, Create New, Create a New 8.5 by 11, click OK. We're going to go File, Import, we're going to import our JPEG file. That's probably a good size, one inch. Just has to be enough to fit in here. What we can do is get our measuring tool, click there, there to there. So we need something about 15 millimeters in height. So we'll go ahead and go there. We're going to change our ruler to do that. Your right mouse click, say ruler setup, change from inches to millimeters. Now this is a little bit too big, so we'll go control plus to zoom in. We need something about 15 millimeters, so right there. Okay, go ahead and select that we're going to right mouse click on that we're going to outline trace detailed logo click ok we're going to drag that out of the way delete we're going to select that we're going to go to file export we're going to export a scalable graphic onto the desktop we're going to minimize corral we're going to open up a program called freecad i'm going a little fast because i'm trying to get the video under 15 minutes I'm relatively new to YouTube, so if it's over 15, I can't, I won't be able to post it. Okay, we'll drag that. We want to select SVG. Click select. Uh oh, something went wrong. Let me go back to, um, let me go back to CorelDRAW and see what it was that I did wrong. Okay, yeah, this is. Okay, I didn't I didn't get I didn't save the right one. So we want to go outline trace, detail logo. Okay. Drag away the copy, get rid of the graphic. Go ahead and select that. Go to view, go to normal. We want to go here to export. Export as an SGV, select only. Go ahead and replace that one. Go ahead and open up FreeCAD. Let's close that. We won't, we'll discard changes. We'll minimize. We'll open up FreeCAD right here.
go ahead and create new we'll drag this window over we'll get our file S select SVG as geometry select control A go to file go to export we're going to export it out as a steep I'll just call it clover 1 clover 2 save now we're going to go back to design sparks we're going to go out go to select we don't need that anymore okay we'll click on the actual brass knuckles we'll go ahead and go up here to file we'll import we'll change the file types to steep we'll get our clover 2 open and then we'll say okay to this warning and then we'll go ahead and position this go control plus to see in more detail we're going to center that the best we can we're going to go actually undo this has to come out of the way so we can select everything go ahead and get pan we'll pan over go to move move it a little bit farther drag a marquee around everything we're going to go to fill select fill now we're going to click on it we're going to move it back into place centering it the best that you can right there now we're going to spin now we're going to go ahead and pull we're going to pull that out 1.78 you can get rid of this one don't need it go back to top view click and drag delete get that one we'll spin this around if you want to put one on the other side just go ahead and triple click on that we're going to go ahead and move we're going to go over here and create pattern and then we're going to drag this to the other side uh oh something happened I went I did undo and went back one okay so we're going to spin this triple click here then we're going to go view left side then we're going to go to move we're going to go to create copy and we're going to click and drag that down until right there all right now we're going to go back up top view and then we would add any other kind of elements like we could put fillets in here go to pull and do let's put another one in 1. Point, let's go pretty extreme 235 We'll go ahead and spin. Just select off. Go to spin, spin, pull. 2.35. Click off of it, spin, pull. 2.35. All right, there's our brass knuckles. All right, if, uh, if you found anything useful in this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And thank you again for watching.